Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, a while back, I painted, I guess, about, uh, I don't know, 10 cars or so in this uh, brown primer. And uh, I've got uh, I got actually one more after this one that I haven't uh, quite got to yet in terms of uh, modifying or, or painting in general. And uh, this was my original uh, Mad Max car, actually. And uh, I thought it felt like it, um, it looked like one of the... Uh, original Mad Max uh, movie cars and uh, it was actually one of my first ones that I was I was modifying uh, actually this car here I, I actually uh, destroyed the original engine it uh, I put it in with the um, <laughs> the paint stripper and it melted the engine so I had to replace it and this is how it looked when I, I, I got it all primered out um, it's got a bit of a texture to the to the paint it's like a, it's a metallic paint that you could buy that goes over um, well, you can use it for like external lights or just about anything that's metal that you want, like, um, like a metallic kind of finish to it. And, uh, so unfortunately what it does is it, it gives a texture to even the, the, the glass, but I thought about, uh, using it as a practice car for doing, uh, animation style paint jobs. And, um, I had just like a, one image of, a, a transformers, uh, sound wave to uh to give my give myself some ideas and just wanted to see if I could do the rest without really kind of looking at anything to uh to use as a tutorial. So um yeah, I just started to um paint off the engine. I use a, a different uh, uh paint that I that I normally do for uh painting silver. It's basically just um came in the same set as as the uh as my blue and other colors that I was using for this build and I uh, decided to just kind of go around the car anything with uh, silver on it, um, including the rims and the side exhaust pipes. So uh, the one thing I did was actually I painted, um, after I painted the windshield all dark blue, um, got this uh, sort of this aqua, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, sort of like an aqua green, kind of greeny blue kind of color. And it created this sort of um, moon type effect on, on the windshield and then, I went and I used um, a mix of that color along with white just to kind of brighten it up a bit and um, kind of proceeded to paint all the windows and kind of like the way it looks right now. Um, in general, I thought it looked uh, pretty neat for the first try. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's um, some of it's a little, maybe a little thick for in terms of the, the glass. I, I should have used a, a thinner brush actually. Um, I think well, it will next time. And then um, I went over the uh, the edges of the car, actually like a lot of the um, like the main body panels with a light gray, um, <clears throat> like a grayish black. And then I used that original um, sort of like a white color mixed with the blue to kind of go all, all over the whole thing with um, more reflective str uh, lines. And um, Painted in the uh, headlights with that uh, blue color I used for the for the glass and then in the corners I, I put a little bit of white um, in each corner of the glass. So yeah, I mean this is how it turned out at the end um, It's just sort of a, a first kind of practice run and uh, There's a few cars I had in mind to do um, based one based on an animated uh, race car movie called uh, Redline um, I, I want to build some cars from from that movie at some point and uh, paint paint the cars to look just like how they would in the animation. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the uh, comment section down below if this is something that you've actually tried to do as well. Um, you know, the, with the back area and everything, I kind of got some good. You know, it's good to practice. Um, got some good ideas on how how to do it better, even the, for the next time. But um, you know, if you're thinking about doing something very similar. This is uh, just kind of a, a good a good example of what you can do just to be a little creative, even though it's um, a dark colored car. Um, doesn't look too bad if you start adding some, some lighter um, you know, lines and everything to it. So anyways, hopefully you have a great day and uh, thanks a lot for uh, stopping by the channel. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, have a fantastic day. Cheers.